Hello YouTube friends. I want to tell you about a project I've had in my mind for years. And when I saw the drone footage from, oh, April and saw this area from above, I realized that this would be a good place to put my amazing project. And so earlier in the year, Anth, who built my brick cooker, uh, and I walked around the area putting out stakes for where we might be building what I'm about to show you. Stay tuned. Hello YouTube friends. Do you remember Anth who put my brick uh, cooker in? Well he's back. <laughs> You've got a new project today haven't you? Yep, we're going to have a digger in and build a pond. <laughs> Literally that's Literally, it. that's yeah. what we're going to do. Yeah, yeah. So um, this is going to be really exciting. I've been wanting this pond for years. This little digger, it was very easy for Ant to get it through these narrow spaces and down to the site. A few little um, trees to m move out of the way there, tree branches. And then he set to digging, it's very wet down here, digging this uh, pond. Now I've got a drone and I used it a little bit for this uh, project. And so, um, indulge me with a few drone shots, please. My son Owen thought it would be a good idea if I asked Ant if I could drive the digger. And it turns out that I kind of can with a lot, a lot of guidance. What a lot of fun that was though. Those two handles, they just like I don't know, they make the whole thing work. And if you remember which side does which, it's not that bad. And so there's one whole corner of the pond that I dug out with a lot of help. If ever you get a, a, a chance to drive a digger, I'd say take it with both hands. It was such a lot of fun. That was seriously one of the most awesome things that I've done in a long time. And I think I could see myself as a digger driver. It was pretty good. <laughs> So we let the real digger driver take over <laughs> and Ant spent the rest of that day uh, digging out the shape of the pond. Uh, it's a very peaty, muddy, wet, sumpy ground down there. So it was quite hard, but can you see he's got his digger on boards and tracks so that it doesn't sink into the mud. So Ant, have you finished now? We're finished with the digger, uh -huh. um, we're going to take that back out, we've managed to get the worst of the digging done and uh, now we're going to get gain the levels, put some timbers in, um, because with the ground being so soft we'll have to put uh, an artificial barrier in uh, to hold mm. the pond liner, uh, so that'll give us a good chance to get the levels right as well all mm. the way around mm. and then once that's done we can start covering the bottom with some sand, the fleece is in, fleece fabric, mm -hmm. just so if there's any sharp sticks or anything that we've missed, these will okay? cover them. Has it gone has it It's gone really well, the weather's been with us, yeah. um, and the little digger's done a really good job. It has, hasn't um, it? Absolutely fantastic. Well, you finished quicker than I thought you would, and what we've got is an enormous great big hole in the ground now. That's right. And so we're gonna see we're gonna see what you manage to do next, yeah? Way I, it'll be champion. 
<laughs> so, I think so too. when it all comes together. Okay, well, we'll see you on, next, on the next stage of this. Thank you. Champion. It's really, easy to see it's really, it's really fun. muddy. Okay, so it's not possible to have a sloping pond. Is it, Anne? Can you make me a sloping pond? I do a lot of things, but a sloping <laughs> pond, I feel as out of uh, no. all of my hands. So the laser level will tell us uh, just how deep we think we are at this end. Of course, we need to make sure is that this is pond as well. So that while we've got the digger, we might as well dig this out a little bit deeper. Also this morning, Ant's put in a bit more of a shape here so that it's not going to be a square pond. It's going to have a, a, a curves and there's uh, curves out that way and a lovely curve here. Uh, and it'll just be a lot easier for Eileen to get in and out of. <laughs> Because I think that's what this pond's mostly for. I think we're going to be fine. Are we? That's the, the water, that's the, that's level. the laser level there. So the, the level's there. So that's very good. I think we should be fine. Overnight it's filled up with water quite a bit over there. Mm -hmm. Water vole investigating yesterday. Oh, that's right. And saw a water vole yesterday. So our first bit of wildlife spotted on the pond before it's even finished. Because this is a wildlife pond. It's not like we're going to put fish in it or anything it's not for no, that it's right. just to attract wildlife and somewhere for Eileen to swim yep <laughs> what Ant's done is he's boarded out all the way around the deeper parts run there's a natural ditch just over there and all we'll do is we'll drop this into the deeper water because yep. yep. we've ordered the liner today so it's on its way. That's me. And hopefully, this time tomorrow, we full of water and there'll be ducks on it. Really? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> What's he like? <laughs> but oh, we'll not be far away. We'll not be far away. We'll not be away. far away. Well, there might be a goose on it. Well, there might be a so goose on it, you're right. a lot right. of interest. So, no, okay. this, this time tomorrow, hopefully, fingers crossed, we should have it all lined, the liner in, and we should be starting to fill it up this with water anyway. Amazing. So Ant's back here this morning and um, getting on with the pond and this was a lucky find because my neighbour was throwing this carpet out and I saw it in the skip last night. Certainly Is this going to work okay? Absolutely perfect. Hessian backed. We can put this into the bottom of the pond as a liner to protect the fleece and then the pond liner itself from okay. any sharp objects if we've missed any. It's a stone uh, it'll or stop wood. The, the wet soil coming through with the bottom because so it's peaty um, and it'll just give a form for the liner Brilliant. to hold against so it'll be perfect Brilliant. absolutely and, and perfect so how are we going to get this down there you i'm going gonna... to carry it are you okay i've already carried one piece there uh, it's one bit down there yeah, already, one already there, man. he's so ahead of the game okay <laughs> off you so go there you go okay i'll be used to look at that he's the right man for the job <laughs> Just the job. It's absolutely perfect. So we're at that stage now where Ant, Ant's putting the carpet that we managed to get from the skip here on the farm, very luckily. He's putting that down first, just in case there are any rocks or any, I mean, he's, he's been good about pulling all the wood and stuff out, so there's really not much, but just in case there is anything, uh, the carpet will be a, the first um, line of defense for the liner. But then I've been reading a lot about making ponds and one of the things that they advise you to do is line the pond with um, a wool liner first before you put the actual pond liner in. Now, I live on a farm that has sheep and earlier in the summer they were shearing and I asked if I could have some of the fleeces uh, to use here in the liner of the pond rather than buy a wool liner which would be very expensive but also I thought how cool would it be to have sheep's fleeces from the farm right there underneath this pond so so far the carpet has come from the house just next door to me practically the um, fleeces have come from the sheep that are just wandering on the hills here and were sheared right down in the barns here the next layer of protection that will go down will be um, some horticultural membrane that Anth uses. He does lots of landscaping and he's got a big roll of that. That will go down. And then the last thing that will go down will be the pond liner. Although I might be wrong about that because there might be one more thing. I think 
at this shallow end here where it comes up to what we're calling the beach we're going to dump a load of sand, build a sand and so there's going to be um, there's a dumpy bag of sand and we're just waiting for someone to very helpfully get the tractor and bring that along so that we can barrow that in you know don't you every time I say we I don't mean me <laughs> I mean him <laughs> So Ant's just stapling the horticultural membrane uh, to the front part of the pond now. It's really important to have this wooden structure going around the outside because the, the soil here is so soft um, there would be no defined edge to the pond at all. And then we got a big length of it to go over the top end of the pond but we don't need that just yet. We were just measuring that out. Uh, ready to um, cover over the next bit that's going to be happening. Well, here are the fleeces all packed into their bags, ready for the wool marketing board to take them. But this one would appear to be mine. All I need now is someone with a tractor to come and pick that up for me. There's there must be, I don't know, maybe 50 fleeces in there for the bottom of my pond. So we're just sitting uh, having a cup of tea. Why is this, Ant? Well... Work has stalled. Why is this? I don't want to sound really clever, but I'm ahead of schedule. Yeah, it is. You know... <laughs> we're waiting for the next thing to happen. The next uh, stage is out my hands. So we're waiting, so we're for, waiting for the fleeces. The fleece, the sheep's fleeces to arrive. And we're waiting on the good graces of uh, our friend Ben. Yes. Who's going to bring them for us. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> no, he will. He will bring them. But he's having a cup of tea, so we thought we would. And, and so we've got the camping chairs, and, and we're looking out on the... I'm using my imagination here, but we're looking out on the pond. Waves lapping up on the, <laughs> on the gravelly beach. Absolutely, feeding the ducks. It's all good. <laughs> okay, come on, Ben, any time you like. So, oh, can you see Eileen just on the right hand side there? Here we go then, just offloading the fleeces, ready to spread them in the bottom of the pond. But before that... So this is the... are we calling this the beach? Yeah. Yeah, let's call it the beach because it's got sand on it now. <laughs> so this is the beach area where the level of the water will come up to a very shallow level and then out. Onto the, onto the this is where you get your hands dirty. Oh, this is where I get in and do the fleeces. You can lay the fleeces in, okay. man. Okay, so we brought all the fleeces down last night. <coughs> and this is just an extra, extra protection yep. for the liner. Yep. Uh, right, okay. So do you want me to walk round and yep. get in that way? or If you come round yeah. into there um, and you find you can walk across where my footprints are. Yes, I'll follow that. And under that board and don't fall in if you get no, out. No, I won't <laughs> fall in. I'll try and stay on the board. Try and and you hoi fleeces at me and I'll lay them out. Yep. Is that going to be that way round? Oh, Absolutely perfect. Oh. This is a bit I've been looking forward to. It's very <laughs> muddy underfoot. Very muddy. Oh, it's a good job I had a camera woman there to pull me out of the mud. <laughs> Don't be deceived, that's soft in there, mine. I'm going to try and stay on the plank. Okay. <laughs> You saw me with my foot off the plank. Okay, this is... Right. Well, this is very daredevil of me, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you can stand on there. stand on that one. Okay, chuck us some fleeces. Right. This is total belt and braces, but I'm very pleased that we're doing this. Because, um, you know, those liners... Thank you. Those liners are expensive. And this will give it a protection for years. Won't it? How long have the... Guarantee as the liner got, did you say? 40, 40 yeah. years. Right, that's fine by me. I'll be 107, so we'll just, that'll be fine. 
This ground is incredibly soft, isn't it? Unbelievably. Unbelievably soft. Unbelievably soft. soft. Yeah. But this is why the fleeces are lacked as a great barrier mm -hmm. because the soil underneath is really soft. Yes. And regardless of how much deeper we go, it's just going to stay soft. Yes. So the our carpet. best barrier is the carpet yeah. first and then the fleeces and then the fleece on top of the fleeces and yes. then the liner. Oh, cuts, that's right, because we cut that piece to size yesterday yep. and then we'll put that back over. So we're like making layers upon layers yep. so that uh, this incredibly precious liner will be fine. Will be fine, that's right. <laughs> okay. And hopefully spreading the weight out with all yeah. this yes. will help dry out underneath in time. It, the weight of the water should push. Yes, because the, of course the water underneath. You out. were telling me how much does water weigh? One cubic meter of water is a ton. Right, so and so a ton of water on top of this will compress, compress and compress it. and compress it exactly. down, which exactly. is why having these layers now is a good idea. It'll pay dividends in the end. Okay, chuck so. a few fleeces at me, and. <laughs> And I just kneeled in it, and now I've got a wet knee. <laughs> oh, excellent. Fine. Fine. Right. Okay. If you come backwards, yep. I'll pull these boards out and then we'll lay some into there. Okay. Just for our kids not watching. <laughs> <laughs> well held there, Jackson. <laughs> these are worthless fleeces. They're completely matted. Right, do you want me to lift that board? Let's see if I can do it. Look at that, man. Well, <laughs> don't look too right, closely. Two seconds. <laughs> I think. Yep, you okay to there? Yep. I only well, we need to pop that one down. So then we put that piece of horticultural membrane over the top of the fleeces just to keep those all in place and then we are ready for the next stage. So we've just brought the drone down. Anna and I are very new at flying a drone and um, that's all I'll say about that. I think we got some nice shots but we did land it in the wrong place. It landed on the sand but it's fine. The drone's okay. No bad things are happening to the drone. Uh, and Ant, Ant's just stapling now round the back of the um, horticultural membrane that we've put over the fleeces. This line is going to be very, very happy indeed. Okay. Anna and I are a little bit frightened of the drone, with good reason. But I think that you might have been enjoying some, hopefully, some shots from above there, seeing the size of the pond and some of the things that we've been adding to it. So the next thing now, um, because um, the liner hasn't arrived yet, but we're confident that it will arrive today. And when it does arrive, and we, we've got a way of putting it in, it's going to explain all that to us. But then we're going to fill it. And we're hopefully, fingers crossed, if we've got a long enough pieces of hose pipe that we can connect together, we're going to fill it by siphoning from the uh, dam that's just over there. And uh, with a bit of luck, we should be able to fill it with um, lovely pond water rather than filling it with tap water so that the water is already full of um, all that lovely microorganisms and goodness um, and the odd rainbow Back trout <laughs> we won't get a rainbow trout down the hose pipe so we're going on the on the search for hose pipes now and connectors a bit more or not? no that should be it i think that should okay. Be fine. okay i'll just stand here then <laughs> We've connected three hose pipes together, which is enough. I thought we'd need more. And one end is in the pond, and the other uh, three hose pipes then come all the way up here over the fence and to to the lake. And then we've um, it's very uh, crudely done this, but we've got a funnel taped to the top of this hose pipe here. Hope you can hear me for the wind. It's a little bit windy up here on the top of the dam. And now what, uh, so we've got this bucket here, 
and I've been pouring water into the funnel to make sure that this first hose pipe's fully charged up. And now, Ant, what are you doing? Oh look, what's he got? Got a brig and a bit of string. We're going to tie it to the hose pipe so that it stays in the lake. And once the siphon's up and running, let nature take its course. Yes, we don't need it just yet because the liner hasn't arrived. Not yet. But we've had an email to say it's on its way. Phil okay. is on his way. Phil is on his is on his way with the liner. So we'll tie that fir firmly round there and then sink it into the lake. This is very Heath Robinson, but it will work. And having lake water is going to be actually give, get us ahead of the game. Yeah. With um, yeah. Critters and a things. million miles ahead. Yeah. We're gonna have bacteria and all sorts, all sorts of, already in the water. Already in so. the water. Okay. So down he goes. Do you, yeah. So well, we'll leave the bucket here in case we need to reprime it. Yeah. 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 And um, I'll go and untie that end. See if it's running. If not. Yeah. Okay. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that, Aunt. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him, you I've know. I've done it with worse. I know it would work. I don't want you to do that. So we're working with uh, a bit of physics here. So water moves from a high place to a low place. You all know that. And so this lake, as I've pointed out before on this channel, is higher than the level of my garden, which is a little bit scary. But it's going to serve as well in this instance. OK, we'll get back to you with some running water, hopefully. So I'm now hoping that water will come out of this end. Right, let's see if it does. <gasps> yeah, it's coming through. Bit more. We want quite a big trickle, don't we? Yeah. So I need more water. Pour me a bit more no, water. Uh... That's it, that's my boy. <laughs> right. water well there was water there it wasn't coming through it wasn't coming through that strong oh i can feel water <laughs> well that's worked water moving from a higher place to a lower place so who thought physics class would be a waste <laughs> Who, uh, who knew? Who knew? Did you concentrate in that bit? Not at all. Neither did I. Not at but all. But this bit is something that really stuck, yeah. didn't it? With me too. Oh, three hoses. I'm impressed it only took three yeah, hoses yeah. to get from there and along all the way down to here. And then liner. So, I think everyone has a lunch break now, waiting for Phil to come with the liner. Big Phil's landing with the liner. <laughs> Great. And then, I'll see you in a week and a half when it's full. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Even a week and a half and it's full. Yeah. And Eileen's kind of thinking, oh, water. Well, what I'll do is this I'll pull is... this back to that ditch and then it'll not do any harm, will it? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, well, we're going to tie it off anyway. We so were, but we, it isn't going to empty the lake. No. We don't have to worry about it. It's not going to empty it. And she'll like it. Yeah. Yeah, just stick it in the ditch. Looks like we're going to have a pond. Hey, Eileen, what do you think? Yeah, come on, Eileen. Right, I think... Um, down tools now till we get a liner, yeah? <laughs> uh, I think so. I've got some stones on the pickup. Okay. So I'll bring them and I'll set them around the edge ready for okay. holding the liner. Right. Okay, <laughs> so we'll reconvene when the delivery has come. With the well, the liner arrived and what do you know, there was an underliner as part of the kit. And so yet another layer of protection for this pond liner. So this is... Um, it's a bit like the horticultural fleece that um, Anth put down the white stuff. So we've got another layer of uh, good protection. And then we've got the, um, the liner itself. We ordered a very big liner so that it um, we'd have extra to play with. There's no point in trying to fit a very skimpy liner, I don't think. So we ordered it a little bit bigger than we need. And isn't it always nice when you've done the job to just stand there and look at it? I think so.
Well, it feels like the end of the first part of this pond is in sight because here's the liner. I was very careful with the very sharp knife uh, not to get it anywhere near the liner. Don't worry. And then we um, opened it all out and started to fit it into the pond. Now this is a job that's best done on a day with no wind and with at least two people. Op open it up, realise that it's actually far bigger than you thought it was. I think this way and then just keep on unrolling this liner so it fits the pond. Amazing. The next job then is to pull it so that it's as central as it can be and then put stones all the way around the outside and then put that little trickle of water in. This red line that you can see that I drew in here that's the route that the hose pipe took from the lake to the pond. Look who's enjoying the pond. Even before it had much water in it, she was loving having a drink and a splash around. So this is how fast the siphoned water was coming in from the dam. <laughs> the pond inspector, <laughs> she was there all the time. And I've really been enjoying watching this pond filling up over the last few days. Well, that's as far as this video is going to go. Look at the beautiful reflection of the trees there. It's uh, about, um, I can't remember how many hours. So let's say Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it's three days the pond's been filling up and it's got to there. So it's got to come all the way up here. And so I think of maybe another couple of days of that trickling water. But I'm going to end the video here because it's very, very long. And um, I want to make another video about how we finish this off and how we start to make the edges look beautiful and do the planting and do the pathways because I've got lots of plans to do some pathways all the way around here and make a sitting area as well. Uh, while I've been, um, while we've been making the pond, I've been sitting on this little camping chair here, thinking about all the lovely things that I want to be able to do now that it's nearly here. Please subscribe because if you put your notifications bell on, you will know when I'm next going to be talking about the pond and giving you an update on how it's doing. I sit and watch it. I, it's, it's been the weekend, so Ant finished on Friday and I've been sitting down here for hours at a time with some sewing or some knitting and just watching and looking and imagining the potential of what this is going to be. I can't tell you how pleased I am. So, um, yeah, do call back soon and see the next stage of this pond. Thanks so much for watching.